welcome back. Today we're at the Chinese Science and Technology Museum. And let me tell you, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely a kids museum, but with that being said, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, you can touch almost everything in here, and a lot of things are interactive. Yeah, they have a ton of different sections. One of my favorites was the space section, which is on the top floor. There's this part where there's like these different parts, kind of like Legos. You put it together and the spaceship, it's a Chinese like rocket, like it takes off into space. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a model, but I got really excited with the <laughs> countdown and everything. So I remember the two years that I was here, first and second grade, one of those years they sent someone to the moon for the first time and it was really exciting and we learned all about it in school. So I can totally see how this museum is built for field trips. When you first walk in, there's a really cool dinosaur uh, right at the uh, front, front gate. Or right, right here. We named him Bob. <laughs> After Robbie. <laughs> that looks like kind of like a velociraptor. This one right here. And that could be like uh, that herbivore, you know what I'm talking about? The one Bronchius, the I don't know. I think it could be a bronchiosaurus. Bronchitis, constantly coughing. They also have this section where you can kind of terraform the planet. It's like uh, a sandbox where you move the sand around. Exactly. But like as you move the sand around, it affects like how, you know, a body of water um, flows from creek to creek. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. China right now is really thinking ahead about global warming. So there's a whole section dedicated to that, about hydropower and wind power and electricity. Yeah, it was actually really cool. There's a whole like wave pool that you can like interact with. I went into like a submarine, that was really cool. Yeah. And not only are they looking towards the future with future technology and all kinds of stuff, but they're also looking back to where we came from. And I felt really old because a five-year-old had to be told that this is what a household computer looked like in the 2000s. Yeah, it was like a desktop computer and he was like, this is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, we're old. This is an ordinary circle, but once you flip one end of it, it is now a Mobius strip, and the two surfaces has changed into one, so you can go through it continuously on both sides. You want to see what happens when you take LSD? Oh, it's playing chess? Oh my god, that's so crazy. So it's playing it's playing like a bunch of games at once? Yeah. Make that energy. That's pretty cool. So we just went in this room. It was pretty cool. It's called Magic Street. They shift the room kind of like maybe 12 degrees, just a teeny bit off kilter, but the rest of the room is set off kilter as well. So it just completely warps your equilibrium. You're like walking around all funny. 